So, uh, yeah, she's she doesn't have obviously. anything about her that is distinct. Obviously, if you're going to assassinate someone, you want to be well, as obviously. indistinct as possible. Well, um, obviously, I'm just I, I mean, I'm just saying that, like, it, it, like even like different assassins from different countries might dress slightly differently. That's well, I said she's dressed like she's from. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's good enough. That's what I wanted to know. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I'm going to. What am I going to do? Jeez. Uh, weird question. Um, all right. Hear me out on this because it's kind of funny. Uh, I'm a devil. Devils like souls. Souls can tend to be released when somebody dies. Is there any sign like I can tell how old she, how how long ago she died, how long ago this happened? Like, uh, well, she's not dead. She's only at minus three for starters. Oh shit, she's not dead yet. Okay, well that's fine. Uh, she'll actually, die within a couple of rounds, but she's not dead at the moment. Well, me um, at a cleric that has truth. Could, hmm. I was gonna say oh. yeah. If we have like a zone of truth kind of thing. Then I'm gonna tie her up. I have rope. Uh, and I'm going to tie her up using my magical ability that lets me tie somebody up really easily. So I can't stabilize. Actually, uh, no, I can't. But uh, she might still die, but I'm going to tie her up anyway, just in case we can manage to save her so we can figure out what, what the hell is going on here. Only we had a cleric in the other room. I know we do, uh, but the first thing I got to do is tie her up. <laughs> I'm gonna, yeah, that's what I'm doing. I'm, I, I, my, 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 the thing is, for me, it takes me one action to tie somebody up because I have my magic ropey thingy. And can't you stabilize? Can't anybody stabilize with a heal check? Yep. Yeah, heal check, but I don't have a bonus. I don't think it's your wisdom. Oh, well, it's that, but nothing else. It's not a very high bonus, it's plus two. Uh, I guess I could try it, but first, first I want to, first I want to, uh, first I want to ensure she's not going to try and kill me as soon as she wakes up. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna tie her up and then I'll attempt to stabilize while other people come in because I want to get information. Okay, Damon, what are you doing during all this? Wow, it hasn't rolled yet. That's gonna be interesting. Sorry, uh, Damon's gonna go to the others and make sure they're awake. Like, basically running room to room, waking them up. Okay, everyone but Apollo is on their way when you uh, arrive in the uh, main living area. Alright, then I'll go after Apollo. The drunk uh, cleric trope. The what? The drunk cleric trope. Like Theros of uh, Mir. Never heard of it. Alright. <sighs> okay, so you guys gather around the body. Sorry, wait a minute. Where is Apollo? He was in... Apollo's in the purple room. He was the one across from you. Okay. He took the room with the bathtub. Right. Well, since he likes the bath so much, I'll wake him up with a splash of water. Okay. <laughs> Son Schultz, what the fuck? Why'd you wake me up like this? Oh. Okay, I get, uh, as soon as he says that, I get up and grab my base and shield. I wake uh, him up with yellow water. Where is everybody? <laughs> <laughs> Where where's the where's the intruder? In the red room. I go to the window and uh, I I call I call I shout out is or I look for Pandora. Is she out there still? Uh, she is out there, but you can't see her. She's over on uh, Darius's side right now. Okay. So with the light, I can't tell where anything is. Oh, sorry. Hang on. I'll just turn it off.
There you go. She would be at the balcony over here? Yeah, she's investigating an evil grappling hook. I'm going to grab to the... Oh, it's so... Oh, no. World 20 doesn't lag when there's no fucking dynamic lighting. It's wonderful. Okay, well, I guess if she's protecting there, I'll uh, kind of just go give her a good job. Um, I... And I'm going to... Is it the morning yet? I don't have my spells yet, do I? Nope, this is probably about two or three in the morning. Cool. Matt, your mic's open. Okay. Uh, Dar uh, Darius will go ahead and try and uh, dominate. Uh... Well, she's unconscious at the moment. I'll, um, I'll cast... Well, that's why mind. she's uh, she's probably not going to resist while she's unconscious, and then you guys can bring her to after I've dominated her. <laughs> can you do that? No, he's not yet. That's a good question. Doesn't say you can't. Or you can't. In fact, I think she can. It's better. Fat, well, what I used to do in my three five games was knock people out so they automatically fail their wisdom saves and then bring them back to consciousness again. <sighs> that is a good scam. <laughs> I dominate her now, and then someone bring her back, and uh, she'll be dominated. Theoretically. Is that a official rule, or is that just a house rule? Yeah, so, uh, so Darius will dominate her, and then Arthur will try a, um, a medicine check or a heal check or whatever the heck that is um, after after I've done that. Fails, Apollo will come in and just cast a light wound on her. That's easier. Switch servers, John. I can't figure out how to do that. I don't get the option to switch servers anymore. Um, I went into the server settings and it just gives me a bunch of details, but doesn't give me the little server. window. So you go into the, um, basically you right click on the. So, so you go into server settings, right? And then you. Yeah, there used to be a little window there that you could uh, just pick a... Yeah, that's weird. I don't see it either. I think they just removed it. Huh. Yeah, that's yeah, what so it used to do. Region, there's this, this section that says, uh, they're now determined automatically. If you need a hand, you can read our help center. And they have a link. That's useless. Yeah, because my internet... The voice connected keeps going red, and um, you guys aren't responding to me. I look over, and my Discord's red. Yeah, I was asking if that uh, unconscious rule was a uh, rules as written, or is that a house rule? I'm fairly certain that's the rules as written. I could be yeah. wrong, but uh, that was our understanding in the campaign that I campaigns that yeah. I. I think that is the rule that unconscious creatures are willing by default. For effects that are require them to make a will save. That is, is interesting. Crazy, but I can't believe they made that rule, but that is, I think, as it's written. No, we've already used it uh, in this campaign. I was just curious if it was something uh, that was official or if it was uh, just something from another game or a uh, house rule. In the heat of the moment, I don't really care, but if we have the opportunity to check... I would definitely like the official ruling. Okay, uh, so uh, you dominate her and uh, bring her back around. It's her in the number seven points. I'll explain to her that... Um... Of course, the two of us are friends, but I explained to her that um, all of us here are now uh, are uh, are now her friends, and she uh, please answer questions that any of us uh, ask her, um, and be as be as helpful to all of us as you can, and say, hey, uh, what's um, did uh, did did someone pay you to kill us, or what's or what was uh, what, what was your mission here? What's going on? 
Um, your dominate works like the spell dominate person? Yes. Sorry, I have one clear thing. Since I'm just under Damon, would I know a little bit more about personal life things about Damon than the rest of them? Or does Damon try to keep them try to secret from everyone? I guess that would be a you and Damon question. Yeah. Well, I mean, Damon will share, like, certain details about his past and homeland and stuff. But what do you want to know exactly? I'm just one because I'm going to pull you aside and just be like, is this from your, like, past life? Is this, do you think this is uh, something from your past life that you want kept hidden from the guys? This assassin? No. Yeah. He thinks it's our, the bad blood that we have with the, uh, member of the Black Onyx that we overruled. Okay, I figured I'd just ask you now before uh, we start getting the truth from her. If you want to try to hide your uh, hide anything from the rest of the guys. Damon has nothing to hide. Okay, then... You can roll a bluff check. <laughs> Alright, in that case, let's go back to interrogation. Not 22, I don't think I... What is it, sense motive? I don't even have yeah. sense motive. What is sense motive? Charisma? Sense motive is wisdom. Oh. How do you, as a skill monkey cleric, not have sense motive? Because I have every single knowledge I can maxed. Fair enough. Your sense motive is your primary interrogation tool. True, true, but I also have zone of truth. Fair enough. <laughs> and I have other means. Damon is probably barely holding back a laugh as he says this. That's fine. <laughs> Regardless, let's go. Uh, let's go interrogate this chick. Yeah, considering the co the conversation started with what lies do you want me to keep from the party, it's pretty obvious. <laughs> Sorry, what other lies do you want me to keep from the party? Oh, what other lies do you want me to keep from the other party? Do you does this from me pass? Should we just kill her now? Because I'll just go in there and kill her. You literally just hucked that token off of the screen. <laughs> I've managed to get it back somehow. Okay. Yeah, I couldn't get it back. I did that uh, yesterday. I cut and pasted some monsters onto the screen, and some of them went off the edge of the map, and I, I tried to undo it and whatnot, and we couldn't get them to come back. All right. Well, Damon will mention there may be more of these. We should keep an eye out. He's going to... Uh... Basically, keep an eye on the door while the rest of them interrogate. Uh, so, did uh, did you say anything in response to my questions, or? What was your question? Oh, um, I don't know, maybe I was muted or something you didn't hear, but, um, so, uh. No, I heard so your I, question. I, I just don't I, remember what it was. That's why I was asking okay. you to repeat. Yeah, so basically, so the first, well, the first thing I do is I, I establish that, um, we're all her friends and, um, she wants to help all of us, um, meet our goals to the best ability and to answer any of us, the questions of any of us, not just me. And then I say, hey, what, uh. What was your mission here? Like, were you uh, uh, were you hired to kill us, or why um, why did you come here? What's your mission here? I am under contract to eliminate uh, Captain Damon. Oh, just Captain Damon, no one else. He is the only one I am commissioned to uh, remove. Uh, are you aware of any other um attempts against? Any of us here? Uh, no, I just accepted this uh, contract and uh, cased out the establishment and came here to uh, finish the job. Uh, what do you know about, do you know who hired you or anything else, uh, any other circumstances uh, surrounding the job? Um, the only thing I know about the contract beyond the immediate terms 
is that I need to bring uh, proof of his death to Count Dragon. Uh, out of character, didn't, do I know who Count Dragon is? He's the ruler of your county. Oh, that count. Um, that's interesting. So, uh, it, it, sorry, wait, who was, who was the, sorry, which person, Captain, wait, Captain who? Captain Damon, your, uh, companion. Uh, so, uh, hey, Damon, uh, what, uh, what do you do to piss Count Dragon off? I haven't done anything to Count Dragon, but, uh, perhaps this is some political intrigue. Is the assassin... Was the assassin directly commissioned by Count Dragon or someone else in his name? Well, um, she was requested to bring to bring proof of your death to Count Dragon. So he may not have it, he may not have been the person who hired her, but it was apparently being done on his behalf, if not directly hired by him. Hmm. Let's clarify that. Can you get any more details out of it? Yeah. What else? Um, what else, if anything, do you know about this? Do you know Do you know who hired you or any other anything else about this? I saw the posting at the guild. Um, it said that it was 3,000 gold pieces to take out a captain, which seemed like a rather lucrative contract. Um, I uh, presented my uh, terms and accepted the mission, and then I came here. The only thing I, only information I was given beyond uh, death, contract fee, and proof was uh, where he was suspected to reside. Uh, were you were you told anything else about this? Like, were you were you given like a a, a layout of this mansion or any other? details personal details about us that would have helped you on your mission or just you had to figure that on your on, out on your own basically um i was only given the owner's name of the mansion uh lord darius and uh i had to find the mansion but it wasn't particularly difficult um i knew that it was outside of raven's point i came here i uh surveyed the area went to the uh, municipal hall and um, got a blueprint of the uh, the manor and then used it to figure out where uh, the best point entry would be. So I suppose the, the only person, I suppose there has to be someone in your guild who knows who, who made the contract, but you, so that, that information is kept from you, but obviously someone in that guild would have to know. Yes, the contract wasn't presented to me. I answered a open uh, posting. Okay. I say, um, if anybody, uh, I I say to the rest of the group, I've um, I've told her to answer all of our questions, and I say, please, I ask her, please, uh, please, if anyone asks you a question, please don't just answer it literally, but uh, um, be helpful to them I, if possible. Um, I have other, I have other modes of. Dealing with yeah, anybody else done, to ask questions, uh, no, go if, if we're done asking questions, she's tried to attack our leader. She's getting, she is getting sacrificed. Well, so I, I agree, but uh, anybody else, uh, anybody else who can think of any good questions, please ask them before we uh, go about that. Before we sacrifice it. Exactly. If anyone is opposed to it, say now, but she just tried to attack our leader, and that's some grounds for punishment. Oh, I agree 100%. It's just we should get the full information out of her and then do that. That's all. Yeah, that's fair. Um, I'm just going to look up because uh, I want to try to get the vote, try to get the highest vote as possible. So you guys to you. Okay. Anybody else? Does anyone... ask yep. Anybody? Well, I'll I just say, hey, um, what... Uh... If uh, if you were in our shoes, uh, what else do you um? What else would we want to know that uh, that you know? 
I don't really know what shoes you're in, so I don't really have a whole lot of information. I'm just doing my job. Okay. Uh, is there anything else about this job that you haven't told us yet? Uh, it wasn't worth it. <laughs> we know that. <laughs> anything else? Not that I can think of. Um, do we... Out of, uh, out of character, do we know anything about this? Obviously, it's an Assassin's Guild, right? Do we know about this guild and where it's located, or is that a mystery to us? Well, if she got this contract from Count Dragon, he is the Assassin Master of Callum. So, uh, and the uh, Moonclaws are the Assassin Wing of the Black Gauntlet. So, this is a national in, or actually it's an international organization it's basically like the zenterum in the forgotten realms oh, okay that's interesting so the the assassin's guild is actually run by the government and the count is in charge of it or at least this chapter of it oh wait does that mean she's of a black gauntlet yes i guess she i then that changes things is that even like legal to sacrifice some off another follower band. I guess if they're not following the law and attack huh? Well oh, I, I ask her I ask her, do you uh do you uh do you worship or follow Bane? Yes. Well she, she You're in Callum. There's no other god you're allowed to worship. Yeah. It's just a matter of is this worth it? Is she within? I mean, she she did something illegal, right? She attacked. She's so that is terms for sacrificing, right? Um, the legalities of assassination uh are very finicky. If you get away with it, everything's legal. But yeah, attempted murder is generally a severe crime whether or not that would be considered terms for execution is uh debatable um but now now it comes down to the it's also a lot more personal yeah you you can definitely determine what you want to do with her on your own terms but uh legally she hasn't committed a capital offense at this point If she had killed uh, Damon, Damon, then yeah, that would definitely be grounds to kill her because assassins aren't supposed to get caught. But attempted, I stay in my own books, attempted murder of my leader is still grounds for, still grounds for uh, death. But. Uh, What what do, um, what do Darius and our Arthur think? Um, well, especially our, our, well, I guess they're both fairly smart, but what do they, um, what, what do they think in terms of the actual, the actual law? Well, I want to know about the actual law of the, of, of the law of Callum and also the religious implicate, Im- in, uh, the religious implement implications <laughs> in terms of the Bainite religion. What would the Bainite religion think of either killing her or sacrificing her? And, and also, what would the law of Callum think about that? Okay, for legal, you can roll knowledge, nobility, or local. And for religion, you can roll religion. Okay. Uh, Did Anor die? Um... Now I just I'm just doing the math here while he does his rolls. Um, would the, would his would, the, um, his uh, what is it? Darius's followers count as followers for the sacrificial elements? Uh, not his thrall followers because they're not compliant. Okay. Um, I'm just doing the math and trying to figure out uh, if I was to go through with this the modifier. If you're going to assassinate her, you definitely don't want to do it publicly. You want to have a full ceremony because you are effectively murdering her. Uh, Whether or not there will be judgment about that is to be decided, but if you do it publicly, there's going to be a response. Um, Sacrifice is good aligned. I'm taking it she's not. No, she's lawful evil. Okay, uh, pure or virginal. Take it she's not. No. And what's her hit dice? She is fifth level, I think. So... Okay, so plus one for that. 
Yeah, she's fifth level. Sacrifice is willing, but duped her. Nope. Sacrifice is willing, but duped or controlled. So if she's willing through the... She would get a save if you tried to force her to submit to a sacrifice. Okay, but if she was, if she failed that save through his thing and said she was willing, I'd get a bonus for that. That's why. Okay. Uh, so what are those rolls, Darius? Uh, the first one was... Uh was the nobility or the history, whatever they're the same modifier. And then the second one was, uh, was religion. Okay. Um, as a Lord in these lands, you know that, uh, assassination is frowned upon. It is not considered a legal action in any regard, although it does happen. The way that you get around the law with assassinations is dead people don't generally have much to say and assassins don't usually stick around. Uh, what what uh, what is the prescribed uh, punishment in the law? Well, if you kill someone, um, unless there are mitigating circumstances, Gallum is a theocracy. It's eye for an eye. Um, attempted murder would probably be a significant um, indentured servitude or prison sentence, depending upon who was presiding. Um, and the second one was your religion check. Um, I'm going to say that you don't really know exactly what the situation was, but you do happen to know that Bane does not like failure. So we're going to go through with the sacrifice. What would, I I do want to know specifically if, if I know what Bane would think though of a sacrifice, like it's a, Bane doesn't like failure, but it is a follower of Bane. Would that would that matter in terms of the what Bane would think of such a thing? Yeah, with a fourteen, you wouldn't be sure. Um, as a cleric of Bane, I if we sacrifice his followers, it's sacrificed all the time, right, for the greater good. Um, Bane does not generally sacrifice his own followers. Um, well, if they've, they've failed horribly, or if they're just a failure, or attacking one another, gives his grounds. Well, attacking one another within the church is strictly forbidden. Uh, that is death to anyone who does it. But uh, she's not a member of the church and neither is Damon. So uh, it's more of a house rule for people who aren't uh, officially religious people. So if you wanted to challenge your superior, you could issue a formal challenge. But you're not allowed to undermine them or... Uh, attack them openly or even assassinate well, them in this type of situation. I think in this situation Apollo would still go through with it just because he has personal issues with it now because she attacked a leader. Yep, that's fine. So she's gonna, he's gonna Apollo's gonna go through with it he's gonna go pray for his spells in the morning and he's gonna prepare the site and he's also gonna take a take a day if everybody else to, Well, I'm, uh, not, I'm not sure I'm not sure I would I, I would I feel like I want to know. In fact, uh, maybe I can also consult my. Uh, well, at least between the three of them, I will. I will actually also want to consult with my uh, my one level three and my two level one clerics to see if they uh, if they um, happen to know any more about like what Bane would think about worshiping yeah. other Baneites when they have. There's my. There's when my they have, when they have back. when they have failed level okay. and that kind of thing. Okay, let's try to talk one at a time. So you're going to consult with your clerics, so you can roll a religion check for each of them. Okay. Uh, so for level three, I guess it would be. Okay, so the level three got a twenty-one. Okay, um, he informs you that um, Bane is not fond of failure and that he tends to punish failure very absolutely. Um, in this situation, you probably don't want this to be public knowledge, but uh, the church and uh, the god probably aren't going to have an issue with punishing a... Uh, 
failed assassination in this manner. Okay. Um, okay, fair enough. Okay. Well, in that case, um, what my plan is for the assassination is I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to find an altar. Do you have an altar in here? Uh, yeah, I'd assume that I would. <laughs> okay, unhollow area, desecrate area before the ceremony, and then I'm torturing her for a day for failures. And that's all the bonuses I can get. Oh, and okay. the ceremony is going to last an hour, so... All those, um, if you guys have anything to do during the day, this is going to be for the, this check's going to be the, um, sacrifice check. What was the 31? Oh, that was just a religion, that was just a religion check to see if, uh, essentially get what level cleric got. Oh yeah, you... With a 31, you are fully aware that this is within your bounds as long as it's not a public situation. Okay. Um, Acts of revenge are done quietly. Yeah, so we're gonna... Um, actually, he's... Is this a... Would, would Aenor be considered a demon uh, creature of importance to the deity? A demon servant, for example? Like it, we did consider it a plus two last time. Uh, Anor, just that he's a demon, or that he's a demon of it's, significance. It says it just says conducted in the presence of a creature of importance to the deity, a demon servant, for example. If he's a follower of Bane, would that? Yeah, that's probably good enough. Okay, because that would bring me to a forty. So that's a. Uh... Nice little limited wish for the for me for getting forty. Okay, what are you using your limited wish for? Uh, I have to look up what limited wish is. Uh, da, 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 da. just you guys do you what you guys need to do at the end of the day. I'll uh, figure out what I want this limited wish to be. Like, could, actually, question: Could it make a permanent? Could a limited wish do a permanent dark uh, dark vision on me? A limited wish, I believe, can do a fifth level spell. Yeah, it's six level or lower. Uh, yeah, you could do that. Okay, I'll just tell. I'll get a permanent uh, dark vision put on me then. After the wish, if that's fine by the DM. That's fine by me. Uh, just write down that your dark vision is based on your current caster level, which is nine. Okay. Um. Thank. Thank you. And uh, that's that. That took a day to do. So just just a heads up. Okay. I put it on your token. Thank you. Okay, so are you guys doing anything for that day? And everybody would also have their stalwart packs back up. You still picking up the tab for that? Uh, nope, everyone gives me their... Uh, no, not anymore. anr has been... I told Aranar when he put it on himself again and his dragon again. Okay. Just want to make sure you're keeping track of it because it's like 250 gold pieces each time. I have. I've been t telling people it is. Well, um... Dana doesn't need it because he still has it from last time, so he won't pay anything. <sighs> Uh, I can't get into the room again. There we go. No yeah, you gotta go through the door. That's the door over here? Yeah, the open door. Up. No, the light brown at the top, but I turned off the oh. lighting. Okay. Once the fight I was over, I turned it off. Yeah. 
So are you doing anything during the day, Damon? Um, sorry, this is the day of travel. This is the following morning uh, while Apollo is torturing the assassin. Um, I'm wondering if we should draft a letter or some other means of communicating with Count Dragon because this seems kind of out of the ordinary. We could um, try to clarify it in the sense that it's like a, we know, of course, that uh, like we have been attacked by an assassin who claims to have been like sent by you or sent in your name. We know that, of course, that this must have been some kind of accident or duplicious um, attempt to frame you. So uh, we are sending back like the assassin's dagger or something and um, hope that we can resolve this matter with you. Send like back that. an organ. Yeah, or, or some other proof of the deed that we have defeated the assassin and um you know we're 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 trying to play nice still so we we make it sound like we you know he couldn't possibly have meant to actually assassinate us okay so you're just sending a letter to him i mean unless the group thinks we should go in person What's the party going to do? Happy with the letter, or do you want to make a special trip? Yeah, so we, we just, I think we, we write the letter in such a way as to say, you know, obviously someone was trying to frame Count Dragon, you know, as loyal subjects, we wanted to inform him immediately of these events and uh, assure him that the assassin um, was no trouble at all. Um, is there a way this, you know, this may be a matter of political intrigue. Does anybody have any kind of contacts or maybe even bribery could help us? If not, I'm wondering if we could use, you know, you know, I'm thinking, uh, I, I guess I'm thinking, you know, master of whis of whispers um style it like in fact we don't have one i probably want to start in place now actually like you know i'd like to maybe even start a spy and informant network i mean it may take a while to get in place i don't know if anybody already has any contacts uh it might be nice to see what we can figure out in terms of speaking people in the know through the grapevine and seeing if we can get any whiffs um, I mean, if it's something, if it's something that that Count Dragon is keeping ultra close to the vest, we're probably not going to find find out. But if it's, but maybe there's a matter of like court gossip, like so and so said to so and so is so and so that uh, Count Dragon hates uh, Damon because why? Like, if there's any way for us to like work contacts to potentially get that kind of info. Okay, well, you guys can roll an insight check. Insight. Uh, it's intelligence if you don't have any ranks in it. Oh, that's intelligence like sense motive version? Yeah. Or... Okay. So I guess just two less than this. Yeah. So 30. You have 20 ranks in sense motive? No, I have 13 ranks in sense motive. Yeah, but you, you don't have that in in uh, in, in which we called insight. Oh, they're two different skills. That's right. Okay, yeah. that's a that's a seventeen then. Oh, I rolled a natural seventeen, so that would be what it is. I don't have a bonus because I have no intelligence mod. Might as well roll it. But... <sighs> okay. Um, Arthur uh, doesn't really have a uh, firm idea of what's going on, but. Um, Anor is kind of like doesn't uh, 
the Viscount know the Count fairly well? To which uh, Darius is like, yeah, they're like best friends. Like they've known each other for years. And Apollo is like, yeah, he was the original uh, mage lord that served the Count back when he was the Viscount. Someone you happen to have a great deal of favor with. Okay, so I guess uh, I guess the thought then is maybe that we should go talk to him and see what he knows. Okay. Is that what you guys want to do? Uh, yeah, I would think maybe tomorrow. I mean, to, uh, today we can let uh, we can let uh, Anor have his fun, and then uh, tomorrow we can go talk to the. Um, the bike count is there um i can do a knowledge nobility check if you want but i guess i'd probably know without a check like if we want to go see the bike count is there an official procedure although actually we, we may want to talk to him on the download because if the if the count is wanting to uh, assassinate uh damon then maybe maybe we don't want some super formal thing but if like if we want to if we want to kind of talk to him on the on the down low but not too sketch um is there a like an official like courtly procedure like our messengers talk to his messenger um like how would what be the formal and polite way of, of requesting audience and in, in a way that's not super high profile um the viscount holds court um every morning um five days a week and uh he takes audiences with anyone who books an appointment he always puts priority on higher ranking nobles um, beyond that he does not see people generally so you can send word and book an appointment uh, you can also ask for a personal audience if you want to do that and as uh, the I, think, new... I, think, I think a personal audience would be good because we don't want to be like in front of a bunch of other people when we talk to them <laughs> alright um, quick idea should we pretend as though we uh that the assassination was successful should damon just kind of like you guys could like make it seem like you're talking to the viscount because you are concerned that your captain was killed or something and then damon's just sort of hanging out in the shadows or this guy i i feel like i'd rather be i mean let's let's not maybe for now we don't broadcast what happened that we that we even know that there was an assassination attempt but we request a private audience for reasons unknown and we don't let anybody know what the heck happened one way or the other until we actually talk to the viscount but i feel we should be we should be honest with the viscount and actually say but actually say hey we think we think he was framed but we like we don't know what the heck happened and what like what um uh, like what like what do you know kind of kind of thing but also we're kind of keeping you know keep it keep it keep it insular so no one but us and the and the viscount knows i mean if they're if they're friends i mean he might end up getting word but i think we should i think we should play it straight and not let anybody else uh you know kind of know yeah i mean that's reasonable i guess my thought process is we could sort of play it by ear like we can set out the meeting plan to go to the meeting at the meeting if we start getting weird feelings from the viscount like the viscount might be in on it yeah that's true we can go with the story that the assassination was successful but if we get the sense that the viscount is you know relatively innocent or on our side then like damien can reveal that he's alive and we can have that more upfront discussion but we should sort of feel it out because like there's a possibility here that there is some conspiracy going on and we kind of yeah. want to know what side of that conspiracy characters are on before we reveal too much that's fair i think i think we i think you're right i think we default to being honest but we can you know we're not going to say the reason for for the audience and we don't need to board anything out right away we can kind of like assume that we're going to tell them the truth but we can kind of play it by ear a little bit depending on what you know what we think yeah i think that's reasonable Yeah, I gotta, I gotta do some work, and I don't think a Inor actually has anything left to really ma handle today anyway, um, unless you guys are planning on going for a really long time, in which case I'll probably be back by the end of it. Uh, so I need to, I, I actually, like, this is the last week of finals, or going into, 
or actually wait, it's final start next next week, but they'll be over by the time next session happens. Okay. Uh, right. If that makes any sense. Yeah, this is going to well, be the last time I have to do this, I hope. If we uh, get to a point where we need you, we will just, or you would need we'll just call you, we'll call it there like we did last time. It's not a big that, deal. That's fine. Yeah, I'm hoping hoping that doesn't happen too soon in because I mean, uh, sounds like a sounds like a lot of diplomatic guys next stuff time. now. Yeah, See you next I mean, Anor can help with diplomacy, but he doesn't have it trained. So, yeah, I'll no worries, you. man. See ya. Fuck, I'm so glad I'm out of finals. Uh, so basically, we asked for a private audience. We don't we don't have it today. I guess I guess for tomorrow, assuming that there's an assuming that there's an opening tomorrow, we can uh, we can. Um, or wait, what's the um, What's 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 the travel time? I mean, I suppose I could always use we could always use um use psionics too to help us. But if we if we travel if we don't use um magic or psionics to travel, what would be the the travel time? Um, uh, about twenty minutes. Okay, well then that's close enough. <laughs> so, um, we, so yeah, I said we try to we see, we see, we see if we can schedule a private audience for tomorrow. Then I think is the idea. Now, John, I've got a sort of side question here. How long would it take for um? For uh, Arthur to make a barding for Pandora. Why would Arthur make barding for Pandora? Well, that's uh, uh he can make. Derry said he can make, right? We well, yes, he has craft armor smithing. It's not not super high, but I mean, my... the way that it works is that you make a check every day or every week for it, and based on your check, that's how many gold pieces worth of value you add to the thing, and you just make a check, keep making checks until you do it so if he has a really high check he can do it in a short period of time if he has a really low check it yep. could take him forever why not just go into town and buy barding that's true i guess she is that's why i make more sense his, his 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 he's not actually that high in craft armor okay so. yeah, that's it that's all i wanted okay uh so it is your plan to make an appointment with the viscount for a private audience damon is not going to be in attendance for the initial um conference correct um is he gonna be around or is he just gonna completely stay away he'll be around i think what he's gonna do is he's gonna borrow a full suit of armor and uh like armor local to the region so he won't look at all like himself and he'll be covered head to toe we'll just okay. say like a guard that's guarding with you guys or something okay my uh, security for us okay 